Hey there all you real estate agents, I'm Danny Griffin, the founder of the RealtyClassroom.com with this week's real estate agent coaching and training tip. So who's in charge of your business? Is it you, the company you work for, a coach? I'm certain that you'll probably push back and demand, of course it's you. You certainly aren't the type, right, to let somebody push you around and tell you how to do things, right? But wait a minute, before you get all worked up for a fight, let's consider that maybe we need somebody to hold us accountable. However, who we allow to lead us is critical. This week, I kept seeing a common theme about questioning who was offering up advice and whether or not that advice was even correct to begin with. You see, when real estate agents endeavor to improve their business, like many other entrepreneurial types, they seek an education first. They look for a company, a coach, or a successful agent to learn from. They copy the lessons that they see and maybe improve their businesses or not. Lately, it strikes me that there may be an even better teacher, the consumer. Now think about that for a minute. Over the last 10 years, the business world has gone through a dramatic change as the internet has literally changed the way that business must be done. Yes, I said must, because the consumer is demanding it. Reflect upon how you go about buying anything these days. I'm sure you've done your own research online before you make a purchase. I do, personally, enormous amounts of seeking and searching for information. In fact, the last time I decided to buy a car, I did so much homework that I knew more about the car than most of the salespeople at the store. So where does that leave us as real estate agents? In big trouble if we don't pay close attention to how the consumer goes about buying or selling a home. Let's first discuss the shift in how this all happened. Now, I suppose we could thank Realtor.com for opening up that big Pandora's box by publicizing the multiple listing service. What was once private access to proprietary inventory of brokerages and agents suddenly became public. Now, it took a while for the consumer to really beat a new path, but once they started, they would never return to seeing the real estate agent as a necessary first step with their newly found instant online access. So now what? Beg for business? No, just adapt. For years, the real estate agent had the power over the consumer to the extent that they had to come to you to gain access to what they really wanted. Now, they have direct access anytime, anywhere. You can go kicking and screaming that you've lost control, but I say you better welcome your new bosses and make them feel very special. Not that it wasn't always a great idea to be customer service oriented, think Nordstrom and Mary Kay, but now you have to become a real estate concierge just to win the chance to do business with the consumer. So how do you begin to do that? Well, suffice to say there are many ways, but I'll get you started in the right direction with what I think are the two most critical steps that I learned from the new consumer boss. First, map out a strategic marketing plan to find the consumer you really want and offer them what they want for free. My personal plan includes instant access to homes for sale for home buyers and instant access to homes that sold for home sellers. Pretty simple. Next, and perhaps much more important, is to build a strategic and systematic concierge-like follow-up plan. If you thought that the best you could do was give away that free instant access to information, well, then perhaps you're even in bigger trouble because that's just the warm-up act for your new boss. If you really want to be a successful real estate agent in the eyes of the consumer, then become a real estate concierge. Give your best service throughout the entire process and your boss will reward you greatly. Hey, I'm Danny Griffin, the founder of TheRealtyClassroom.com, thanking you and reminding you, please, hey, look, 
ask the question, who's in charge these days? Because it is a new way, and you have to embrace becoming a real estate concierge. If you have any questions about that process, please leave them right here, and I'll be happy to answer any and all of them. But most importantly, if you know a fellow real estate agent in need of some help, please share these along through your social media channels. And again, thank you for visiting with us, and we'll see you next time.